Friday, September 14. We got a call from the theatre late yesterday afternoon to say that they had two tickets available to see the Gruffalo if we were interested. We had been on the wait list and I knew Elisha would love it, so we happily accepted. After a slow morning of family devotionals, breakfast and Lego on the porch while watching the bees working in the orange blossoms, we were on our way. It was about an hour's drive away, but I'm so glad we made the effort to go. The show was wonderful. It was funny, engaging, and both boys had the best time. Elijah laughed and laughed, his smile permanently stuck to his face. He clapped along, danced, and loved roaring at the fox. Patrick also loved it. He stood up on my lap, bouncing and dancing and calling out at the top of his lungs when everyone was singing along. Even when the crowd stopped, he continued calling out and waving madly at the actors on the stage. I can't wait to take them to the theatre again. After the show, we asked some locals if there was anywhere they would recommend visiting while we were in town. The Japanese gardens were suggested, so we plugged the address into our GPS and made our way through the new city. When we arrived, we saw a track called the Friendship Walk. When I saw the sign, a quote popped into my mind. In the garden of thy heart, plant not but the rose of love. I'm not sure why it did, but it was nice all the same. It made me smile, and we decided to explore it a while before heading into the gardens. It was lovely. I'm a sucker for afternoon light trickling through the trees. It seemed like there was an old railway line running down the track toward the water. I'd be interested in learning a bit of history about the area. We decided to turn back so we could have some time at the Japanese gardens before it got too late. I'm so glad we did. They were just lovely. From the tea rooms and waterfalls to the dry stone gardens and the beautiful blooms. It was a real treat to visit them. We watched the koi fish and sat patiently as we tried to spot the bouncing bunny darting between the hedges. As we walked down the garden path, I was intoxicated with the sweet perfume of the wisteria hanging above us. It immediately made me think of my husband, sweet David James, and how thankful I am for him. How devoted he is to us, how much he cares and serves and loves us, and how hard he works to provide for our family. What a blessing he is to us. I hope he knows how loved he is. Until next time.